In today's video, I'm going to show you how to easily perform a PS5 SSD M.2 expansion upgrade with complete step-by-step -step installation instructions. The new update for PlayStation 5 finally allows for all PS5 users to fully take advantage of this feature. So I wanted to make this video to show you how to do it. Make sure to leave a like rating on this video for good luck. And without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. The first thing you're going to need is a compatible M.2 SSD for your PS5. If you're interested in which SSDs that I think are the best, I'll have links to my top three picks in the video description box below where you can purchase one from Amazon. They will be affiliate links, so if you wanna help support the channel, you can purchase one using the link. Next, you're going to need a low profile heatsink. Now, many SSDs like the WD Black SN850 actually come optioned with an SSD heatsink already in the box. But if you end up purchasing an SSD like the Samsung 980 Pro, then you will need to purchase a separate heatsink to install into your PS5. Again, affiliate links to my recommended heatsinks will be listed in the description box below. Lastly, you're going to need a small Phillips head screwdriver to access the SSD expansion bay. Now let's go ahead and remove the side plate of the PS5. You wanna first make sure that the stand has been removed, lift up on the corner that's adjacent to the disk drive, and then pull down with your other hand, and it should gently slide off. Next, we're going to remove the SSD expansion slot cover. Then remove the mounting screw. And do not forget about the spacer. Now we're going to unbox our SSD and install the heatsink. Since every heatsink is built slightly different, I always recommend reading the instructions for your heatsink so you know how to properly attach it to your SSD. As you can see with the WD Black SN850, the heatsink already comes pre-attached, so there's no additional installation needed. But for SSDs like the Samsung 980 Pro, we're going to first install the thermal pads, then the other side, and remove the protective film. Then we're going to mount the SSD to the heatsink. And that's it, we've successfully attached the heatsink. Now we're going to place the spacer to the correct size of our SSD. Then install the SSD into the terminal. You want to approach it at an angle and lift slightly upwards on the connecting end, and it should connect perfectly. And then screw it down. Now we're going to reinstall the expansion slot cover, the side plate, and then the stand. So now that our PS5 is back assembled and connected, let's go ahead and power it on. And as you can see, the PS5 has successfully detected the SSD upgrade, which means the installation is complete and we are good to go. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video and you found it useful or at least interesting. And if you did, make sure to leave a like rating on this video, comment below to let me know what you think. And as always, don't forget to subscribe and ring the bell for post notifications. I'll see you guys in the next video.